All right, Shalom Amak came out there. First and foremost, before I start, I want to give all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh, that's the name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God. And Yahweh Shai, that's the name of his beloved son, who the world ignorantly called Jesus Christ. Double on to the apostles, a great millstone over there in, in New York. And peace and mercy to election. Ba'ashim, Harakakwadash, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Uh, this one right here, I want to get straight to it. I don't want to waste no time, not too much talking, just straight information. But I'm going to title it, The In-Depth Focus on What is the Image of the Beast. Now, the image of the beast that's spoken in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, is talking about the so-called white man, the Edomite, the biblical Edomite, trying to accomplish his new world order. That is the image of the beast. As you see on the screen, uh, different pictures for you to see and understand all right which the image of the beast the the term or the terminology the phrase of words the image of the beast is nothing but a metaphor um representing the so-called white man wanting to establish his new world order his new way of living how he perceives how mankind should um do things on the planet earth how man how the white man perceives that mankind's decision makings uh decision making shall be uh held you know basically the image of the beast is the so-called white man's ways of living what he believe is right and wrong and uh him wanting to push it on on the world so the image that's exactly what the image of the beast is and i'm gonna go in uh lord will i'm gonna break it down for you so break it down so that you can understand it more perfectly now before we start let's get let's just get this quick clip of aaron russo because you may have some out there that believe well it ain't no new world order well you have testimonies from men who was actually had friendships with the elite banking families which are edomites so-called white men that runs the planet earth as of right now so let's uh let's grab this real quick. Uh, I had a friend, Nick Rockefeller, okay, who was one of the Rockefeller family, and he uh, uh, when I was running for governor in Nevada, he came to me, introduced himself to me through an attorney, and uh, we became friends. We started talking about things, and um, I learned an awful lot from Mr. Rockefeller, and one of the things that we used to talk about was the ultimate plan of the banking industry, what they wanted to accomplish. And the goals of the uh, banking industry, not, not just the Federal Reserve System, but the private banks in Germany and England, all over the, Italy, all over the world, they all work together. They're all central banks. And they're, and they're all part of the Communist Manifesto. You know, central And for me to um, get a one-world government, I want to create a new currency. And then they're doing it in sections. The, the European currency, the euro, and, and the European constitution is one part of it. Now they're trying to do it in America with the North American Union, right? And they want to create a new currency called the Amero, right? And uh, the, whole, the, the whole agenda is to create a one-world government where everybody has an, R, R, an RFID chip implanted in them. All money is to be... Um, in those chips, right? There'll be no more cash. And this is getting me straight from Rockefeller himself. This is what they want to accomplish. And all money will be in your chips. And so any, so not, instead of having cash, any time you have money in your, in, your, in your chip, they can take out whatever they want to take out whenever they want to. If they say you owe us this much money in taxes, they just deduct it out of your chip digitally. Total control. Total control. And... Okay, so... That's the testimony of Aaron Russo. So we do see that this, this, um, if you like me, it's like it, that this image of the beast, that this plan, this plan is a real plan. This is not fake. It's, this is just one of many, uh, testimonial information, uh, information that's out there given to you so that you can understand, uh, what the hell the white man plans is in the world now let's actually go to this scripture right here in revelation 13 
in verse, uh, let's start at 14. It says, and he deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles, which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast, which had a womb by a sword and did live. Now, it said, saying to them that dwell on the earth, uh, that they, the elite banking families, the, the Edomites who run the planet, they should make an image, an image of the beast, which is that new world order, as you heard Aaron Russo previously just speak. That new world order where um, where uh, the, the mark of the beast or the, the RFID chip would be used for the uh, retail, the, the financial system. And um, all your records will be held and they will have total control over you. All right. That so the the Edomites wants to make a new world order or a new way of living um, for the beast, which is NATO and the EU. All right. Now, check it out. Let's actually go to the word right here for image. When you actually go to the word, go to the strong G1504, it says an image, a figure, a likeness. Um, it says used of moral likeness of the renewing of man to the most high. Now, what, what the so-called white man is trying to do is exactly what the heavenly father did in the beginning. All right. When you jump to Genesis uh, one is 26. It says, and the most high said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let us let him have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowls of the air and over the cattle and etc. etc. Now, all the so-called white man is trying to do is repaint what the heavenly father has already did. That's it. That's why when you jump to when I was reading in the definition of image, it says used of the moral likeness. The moral, the when you look up the word moral, it simply means let, let's look it up real quick. Moral, it says, uh, concerned with the principles of right and wrong behavior. So the image of the beast will consist of the so-called white man's morals, his moral compass. All right. That's, that's the word they put on that moral compass, his decisions on his principles on right and wrong behavior. That's exactly what the, the image of the beast is. I'm going to show a little later on dealing with the, the over there in China, their new social credit system, because that's like a, a foreshadowing or a forcing of the, the, the new world order, the image of the beast. So going back to Genesis, the, the, um, going back to Genesis, the, uh, Genesis, the, 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 the first chapter, the heavenly father created man in his image. He gave man what is right and what is wrong. Okay. The so-called white man is trying to, uh, Re reiterate that or redo that over for the lack of better words, but he want to do it with his morals, his decision making. What man, what if you do this, that's bad. If you do this, that's good. You know what I'm saying? And we know that the so called white man is 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 pure evil, man. He's not he's not uh righteous, as you can see, the society he already live in, but. The, the, the new world order will even be he will he will lock down with them chains even tighter of how he really is all right how he how he uh thinks things should be really be all right so let me see jumping back to revelations uh 13 and 14 it says and he and, and dwell and deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast. A whole new way of living based off the so-called white man's 
principles, his morals. All right. Remember, I tell you this in Thessalonians, Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse um, four. It says, "Who opposeth?" Oh, it's like, let me start at three. It says, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there be a falling away first, and that that man of sin should be revealed." Uh, the falling away representing the, the Israelites discontinuing from their heritage. And then that man of sin got to be revealed. First, we have to figure out who is the man of sin. Come to figure it out. Out of all the nations on the planet, it falls on the so-called uh, white race, which stock is the, the biblical stock is Edom. All right. The son of perdition, another title for him. Is the son of perdition, the son of destruction. Because everything that the Heavenly Father says to do, all Esau do, or the so-called white man does, is does the opposite. Point of case, homosexuality. That's one point. But it says, who opposeth and exalt himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, worshipped, so that he, as God, sitteth in the temple of this God, of God, showing himself that he is god so that goes back to him creating his own image his own principle his own morals or his own ways of um of living how he should how he want people to go about which is opposite of the heavenly father and his son man now um let me see when you jump to just to further drive drive this point, that's why it's called in depth focus. That's why I titled that in there. When you jump to Sirach, the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter seventeen, verse um, one, it says, "The Lord created man in the earth and turned him into it again. He gave them few days and a short time and the power of all things therein. He endured them with strength by them by themselves and made them according to His image." So when the heavenly father created man on the earth, he he gave them an image. Right. Jump it down, jump it down, because it goes into how he gave us the, the senses. And then when you jump down to verse 11, it says, besides this, he gave them knowledge in the law of life for an heritage. See that when the most High created us in his image, he gave us the senses, the smell touch taste etc um the heavenly father also gave us knowledge the ability to know and then he gave us the law for life of an heritage all right he gave us the do's and don'ts in other words to break it down simpler for you that's what he did the so-called white man is imitating this very same act that the heavenly father did and he's he's doing it and presenting he wants to present it in this near future and that's what the image of the beast is the so-called white man's new world order which consists of him saying what is right and what is wrong him playing god him Going back to Thessalonians, as God, sitting in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. All right? That's what the image of the beast um, is, man. And the, I'm breaking down to you the metaphor of the image of the beast. Okay? The metaphor of it. Now, I want to look in, I, I've looked into another word. Check this out. Remember when we read in Thess, you know, you remember when you read in Thessalonians that it says that it said and that man of sin uh, be revealed. Revealed means to peel back, to show he needs to be revealed. So check it out in Revelation, going back to Revelation 13 and 14. Let's look up the word miracle by means of those miracles. Check it out right here. This is how you pinpoint who is the who is is exactly like in control of this beast. Who's the who's the forefront of this beast? What nationality? 
What people? This is how you figure it out. Putting the dots together. When you look up the word miracle right there, it goes back to Strong's G4592. It says, a sign, a mark, a token. Check this next one out. That by which a person or thing is distinguished from others and is known. So something is the miracle that this beast will be performing would distinguish him from the others and make him known. All right. It will make him known. Right. Check it out. Jump it down. It says of miracles and wonders by which the Most High authenticates the man sent by him. The so-called white man was sent by the Heavenly Father. If you do not believe me, please just let me get it real quick. The so-called white man was sent by the Heavenly Father to perform the uh to perform to try to accomplish the image of the beast. That was his lot or his um that was his lot from the Heavenly Father to perform this. The Heavenly Father sent this man to perform this. And if you do not believe that the Heavenly Father would do this, there's Proverbs 16 and 4. It's locked in. It's locked in, brothers. Uh, Proverbs 16 and 4 it says, The Lord hath made all things for himself, yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. So the Heavenly Father will. The Heavenly Father did send this man. It's, and, and it said earlier, a sign distinguishing from others to make to be made known. All right. Now, that's how you know that the so-called white man is that evil on the planet Earth, because he's the one that's trying to perform this image of the beast. All right. Now. Check it out right here. Um. When you jump to let's look up this word image because the Heavenly Father just was revealing on to me. Hold on real quick. Image, imagination, image, imagination, image, imagination, image and imagination is co is correlated with each other. Let's look image. It says, look what in the etymology it says peace of a uh, statuary uh artif artificial uh art I'm sorry artificial representation that looks like a person or a thing so an image is a representation that looks like a person or a thing all right now when you look up the word imagination it says faculty of the mind which forms and manipulates images all right so an image is a representation that looks like a person or a thing and imagination is the faculty of the mind that forms the image so and let's put this together now in the so-called white man's imagination he formed, he manipulated images, all right, to represent, to represent, um, to represent, he formed in his mind images to represent a thing that he wants to accomplish, which is the new world order, which is the image of that beast. All right. So the so-called white man imagined in his mind an image that he wants to perform. All right. He represented an image that he wants to perform, and that's that new world order. The same thing that Errol Russo spoke about. The same thing that Aaron Russo spoke about. All right. Now, the song, the scripture saying Psalms two, <laughs> Psalms two and one, 
Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? Which is talking about the, the so-called white man wanting to establish this image of the beast, this new world order. And the Heavenly Father called it a vain thing. All right. All right. Slack you All right. So when you look up this word, imagine a vain thing. You look up the word, imagine it goes back to the Hebrew, Haggah, Strong's 1897. And it says to devise, meditate, to meditate, to use his imagination and devise to plot. All right. So it, you see how it all comes together. It all is coming together, man. All right. Even down here, it says to murmur. All right. So that's the image of the beast right there. All right. That is literally. That is literally the image of the beast right there, man. All right. So let me see. Is there anything else I had to grab up here? Hold up, Slocky, I can Yo, yo, Mike, cut that down, boy. All the way down. <clears throat> All right, so check it out. Now, now that we broke that down, that, that the image of the beast, it says, verse 15, going back to Revelation 13 and 15, it says, and he had power to get life onto this image, this thought, this imagination. This decision making that he wants everybody to to um to worship his decision his principalities of what's right and what's wrong. He had power to give life onto that new world order of the beast, the NATO of the EU, the new the 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 the, the, the white man's ruling system. It says that the image of the beast shall both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast shall be killed. So if you do not want to get down with the ways that the new world order, basically the so-called white man has used the part of his imagination that you are doing something bad and he will kill you. You know, his decision making, he will kill you for not doing what he wants you to do. For not following after his image, his imagination. All right. And he calls of both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in the right hand in their foreheads, which is talking about the RFID chip, because that's the way that he will be able to monitor you. That's his little brand, his little piece that he will use to be able to monitor you in this image of the beast. What else could he you what else could he use to get all the people? under his hands remember the so-called white man is nothing but a man remember it's the heavenly father that's allowing this guy to perform this miracle hey matter of fact when you look up miracle it says that in the etymology it says a wondrous work of the of, of god or the most high so is the most high that's allowing this white man to perform these miracles all right which is a wondrous work of the heavenly father so is the remember he's just a man he needs some type of technology or some type of extraordinary device or to keep control of all people man he's only a fucking man he can't fucking fly he can't do some extra mind read your mind x-men xavier stuff so what is, what is the white man's uh superpowers or spiritual powers is his technology all right so that's how you know that that rfid chip is the way he links to everybody that so he could play god all right it says that no man might buy or sell say if he didn't have the mark the name of the beast or the number of his name here's wisdom let him understand that count the number of the beast for the number is a number of a man and his number is 603 score and six so we understand we do understand that the so-called white man's favorite number is 
is 666, man. All right? Now, now let's check out this in the way China is developing its uh society over there with this new social credit system. This is a foresight this is like a foresight or foreshadowing or insight of seeing the image of the beast. Not in this perfection, but you could guarantee that the elites is gathering enough statistics to um they're gathering enough statistics on this credit this new social credit system because this will be something like how the new world order will be. Let's play it. This chilling image is just a glimpse into the human rights abuses happening in China right now. That picture is from a recent Human Rights Watch report claiming that over a million ethnic Uyghurs are being held in what's being called a massive internment camp shrouded in secrecy. The Uyghurs, they're a Muslim minority in China living in the northern province of Xinjiang. The camps, which you can see being built here via these satellite shots, are reportedly re-education centers, although Chinese officials insist they are vocational education and employment training centers. But the camps are just the beginning. Chinese authorities are using an unprecedented system of digital surveillance to monitor... So, the, the, in turn, you will understand a little bit. I don't want to keep stopping it, but I just want to say this real quick. You will understand why they got them internment camps because they have this new social credit system. And if you mess up, you get put in those camps. And they're calling it re-education centers. All right. There are every aspect of the lives of the almost 10 million Chinese Uyghurs. This includes a network of 20 million cameras, apps that can scan every smartphone searching for religious, religious material. So basically, it's a digital big brother to monitor every aspect of the Uyghurs' lives. And it's not just the Uyghurs. China is using technology to monitor all of its people, harnessing the state's surveillance arsenal in a new program called Social Credit. China is home to 1.3 billion people, and their president, Xi Jinping, says the country's new social credit system keeps his people safe and makes their lives easier. Xi has ordered cameras plastered across China, leaving no dark corners, and plans to monitor every move by every citizen. You see that? So the so-called white man needs his technology to monitor everybody. And a big part of that is that RFID chip, which holds all records. You look into the root of karagma, which is behind the Greek word behind the word Mark and Revelations. Um, it, it, the, the root word, it goes back to grapho, which the word grapho means to put in writings. That's what the word grapho means, to put in writings. So China's over there. They got cameras everywhere to monitor. every, And it said they will not leave no dark corners to monitor everybody's move on every citizen that is the oh uh, that's how the new world order would be okay or the image of the beast he's introduced a nationwide program which scores everyone based on their purchases lifestyle choices and habits it's like adding your facebook data to your credit score only with far more serious consequences check out this report on how it works by the australian broadcasting corporation the system uses facial recognition software to constantly scan and record China's 200 million closed circuit cameras all connected on a single grid. Then it pairs this information to your online habits from what you buy to the sites you visit, even what you say on social media. All of this information is then wrapped together into your new social credit score. Do something the Communist Party approves of, like buying Chinese products or commit a heroic act, and your score goes up. But do something the party frowns upon, like jaywalking, not paying your mortgage on time, or being politically outspoken, and your score will drop. So that's pretty much it right there. You can finish the video if you want, but I just want to get the, the concept in your mind of what the this will be like now understand that over there in china they're not doing this on the last switch over uh mandatory everybody will be in slavery um ordeal that's right now 
in this modern day age right now, this very moment. All right. But when things get to that point where the, the paramount of the scripture, the paramount of the prophecy, where it be mandatory and, and, and they're going to want to reduce the population, then it ain't going to be, oh, you jaywalked and your score went down. It ain't going to be that. It's going to be the new principles, the new decision makings under the so-called white man. If you don't take the RFID chip, you're going to fucking die. All right. You're going to die. All right. So if you do not worship the image of the beast, you're going to die. That's the that's the new way of, of the image that's going to come. All right. The imagination that's going to come. But you get the, the 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 like the little teaser, the insight of what it is. All right. So I pretty much tagged everything I was going to tag. This has been um, in-depth focus on what is the image of the beast which is the new world order and the so-called white man's way of how he wants to create man, man's thoughts, their mind frame and what they should believe what is right and wrong. That's the new world order. The so-called white man trying to rule everybody by his rule, by his means, his principalities. So I'm going to close out. I said, Brakati Hawa, Brakati Hawa Shai, Shalom, Makim Step, Shalom.